Okay, if I understand you a good way, you talked about uh, injury of the knee, jumper's knee, um, and I think it's important to work in the physio to do some uh, exercise to strengthen up your weak parts of your body. Hablaste de lesiones de rodilla, especialmente la rodilla del, salta, del saltador, y para mí es muy importante trabajar con el fisio para fortalecer toda la zona. But I think also you can do a lot on the court. Creo que también puedes hacer mucho en pista. Uh, because today I will I will talk about timing in a counter attack. Um, so I think timing, the way you approach to the ball, the way your position on your position on the ball of your body, your body position on the ball, is a very important thing to reduce the risks of the knees. Para mí, eh, dentro de las cosas que puedes hacer dentro, dentro de la pista, el timing para mí es muy importante y cómo posicionas tu cuerpo al momento de atacar y demás, eso puede reducir mucho el riesgo de la rodilla, de lesión de la rodilla. So for me you have to be um, trained, smart and that not always hard. Para mí tienes que entrenar de forma inteligente, no siempre de forma dura. So, um, we train like 20 hours a week with young people. It isn't good that every day you're going full. So, we use a lot of um, technology, video feedback, uh, repetitions, but not more, 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 not the quantity but the quality is the most, most important thing. Entonces no puedes entrenar 20 horas fuerte duras con gente joven en una semana. Entonces usamos otros medios de tecnología para que las repeticiones tengan calidad. Because you can make people stronger in their weak link like a knee, but I think it's very important to translate that on the court. Entonces lo que puedes hacer es hacer a la gente más fuerte en el eslabón débil como es la rodilla trabajando de forma inteligente. Y es importante eso llevarlo al terreno de juego. Because if the timing, the approach, the position of the body to the ball is correct, they can land correct and then there will be less problems. Porque si el timing está bien, si la posición del cuerpo está bien, van a caer mejor después del ataque y eso va a reducir el riesgo de lesiones y va a ayudar. So it was is it very interesting to hear that. Then um, es muy interesante escuchar eso. I will show you first a video. Um, we talked a lot about defense. We talked a lot about help set. You also saw my colleagues. They put a lot of attention to team play. And there you saw you need defense, you need a set to have a good attack. But the most difficult part now to train, to give the next step, is the counter-attack. Hablamos de la defensa, hablamos de la, la ayuda de la colocación. Eh, mis colegas hablaron mucho de, del ataque, y, pero, todo, pero lo más difícil, y eso lo vamos a poner todo junto, en el contraataque. Because it's the last item of my triangle. Es el último, la última parte de mi triángulo. Okay, so it's very important uh, um, when you give a good defense, when you have a good set, then we can have a good counterattack. Entonces es muy es muy importante cuando tienes una buena defensa, una colocación y poder atacar bien. Okay, because we make a lot of attention to transition, to serve block defense. I mean that's good. Then you have make a lot of um, focus uh, on the on the triangle defense set attack because otherwise uh, it's uh, it would be pity to make uh, effort in serve block defense if you can't play counter attack. Entonces tenemos que poner mucho ponemos mucho énfasis en el saque en la defensa en el triángulo de saque defensa ataque. Y vamos a empezar viendo un vídeo sobre esto. So I want to, you to look to, it was in January, the first round of the World Qualification Championship of the junior team. So like 17, 18 years old. Um, they were the best players of my selection. Huh? But you will see a lot of troubles. 
partido de, de, de clasificación para el campeonato mundial, vais a ver muchos problemas, mi mejor equipo, pero vais a ver muchos que tienen muchos problemas. So you will see we have rally, first contact, second contact, and then you have to see the spiker and the attacker, how difficult it is to have a good transition. Entonces vais a ver la defensa, la colocación y los ataques y vais a ver qué difícil es una buena transición. Estas chicas tienen 17, 18 años. Even if we work um, of side out, cada uno, uno. We have the, the help set. Uh, she was too early. Colocaciones de ayuda. She ella muy pronto. She didn't have any control. So here also taking ball. Good situation. Uh, she's going down when she's hitting. Here also my number four. And we're going and we're going. And then we have a mistake. Now side out is the same. Cada uh, lo mismo. Help set. Very important. You see here. She has a lot of problems. Up trouble, troubles. No rhythm. Tiene muchos problemas, no hay ritmo. She's doing better, uh, but it's also difficult. She's behind the ball. Ella lo está haciendo un poquito Help mejor. Set, high ball, uh, and she's going to make a mistake. Y va a tener un error. Queda detrás de la pelota esa jugadora. So I will talk about timing in counter attack, but you saw also two or three actions from side out, because for me. It doesn't really matter if it's from side out of counter attack. I think it's a little bit more difficult because of the pre-action. But I always want to work to the ideal moment. If it's side out, or counter attack, or second rally, third rally, fifth rally, I always want to work to the most ideal timing moment. Para mí es muy importante el tema del timing. Es un poco similar. Me da igual de alguna manera lo que está diciendo ella. Si es K1, K2, es importante que trabajen el timing. So first key, approach speed. Primero la velocidad de la carrera. Very difficult to learn, and they have to be aware of it. It's the first thing. You have to be aware of the importance of the approach speed. Es muy difícil de aprender y tienen que ser conscientes del, de la importancia que tiene. Because good players, they can slow down or speed up their approach based on the set. Porque los buenos jugadores pueden acelerar o desacelerar su carrera según eh, la colocación. So with young players, it takes long time, very long time, because Usually, they just have one speed. Porque a los, a los jóvenes, en, en todo caso, les lleva mucho tiempo aprender eso porque tienen solo una velocidad. So, I give a lot of exercises where they have to estimate the ball trajectory. So they have to read. Remember from yesterday, very important. They have to read correctly. So you can give a thousand of exercises just about reading. Reading, reading, reading. Le vamos a dar muchas ejercitaciones donde tengan que leer la trayectoria de la pelota. Okay. And then you have, okay, reading, reacting. And reacting for me is to adapt to the situation. Entonces tienen que leer y reaccionar. Y para mí reaccionar es adaptarse a la situación. And then you have the acceleration. Because I want the approach speed. I always want the rhythm. Like yesterday, I want rhythm in setting and I want rhythm in my attack. Y luego tienen que acelerar. Y yo lo que quiero es ritmo, mucho ritmo. Ayer también lo vimos en la colocación. Una vez que la ven, que vayan, que tengan ritmo. Sí. Sí. So, I just need one player. Okay. Uh, Right-handed player? Yes, okay, perfect. Um, everybody knows, okay, you have to load on left foot and you put your body weight in front. So I just want to show you, uh, I work always backwards. Yo siempre trabajo de atrás para adelante, entonces eso es lo que le quiero mostrar. So first I work like, okay, last two steps, this feet is a little bit like that because I want to have the horizontal speed and the vertical height. Este pie va un poquito más inclinado porque quiero aprovechar la, la velocidad para ir hacia arriba, la potencia para ir hacia arriba. I'm talking about outside spikers for two. Huh? And then I'm going one step behind and I have big step, small step. Paso grande, paso pequeño. Okay. Then I have my loading on my left. Okay, and I have like that. Okay. Y luego mi pierna de carga. 
But I don't, I want this movement, I want it fast. Quiero que este movimiento sea rápido. Always. Siempre. Okay. So that's my approach, speed. I want it fast. Esa es mi carrera, rápida. So they have to look and then very fast. Like I want you to run fast in defense. Like we had an exercise of Carlo. Huh? The, the block around four is jumping here, two block, and then has to go to the other way around. They have to run. They have to be fast as possible. Para mí, tienen que correr en la defensa, en el trabajo que Carlo, eh, Carlo hizo del bloqueo, donde el jugador de cuatro tenía que después salir corriendo muy rápido para poder atacar la pelota. Okay. So, I, I show you a little bit, then I use some resistance. Necesito so, you are loading on your left feet. Okay, my right is off the ground because I don't want you to be in this position. I always want you in this position, stay low, and from low you go up. Desde una posición baja, vas para arriba. Okay, then I, I just play with you, I give you some resistance. I want you to be a big step to the right, and then a little step left. Okay, paso largo con derecho y luego izquierdo. Okay, good. Back. And I want you to do it as fast as you can. Lo más rápido que puedas. Okay. When do I see that somebody is going to try it as fast as he can, as he can, and with the most energy he has? How can I see that? How can I notice that he's doing that very fast, like he's aware of it, that my approach speech Speed is the most important thing to do. ¿Cómo puedo darme cuenta que alguien lo está haciendo a su máxima velocidad, que está siendo consciente de hacerlo a su máxima velocidad? ¿Cómo puedo darme cuenta? How I how can I notice that with him as a player? No sure. A lot of top players doing it. Muchos jugadores top lo están haciendo en este momento. No. It's easy. I want you to breathe. Quiero que respires. You cannot be fast, you cannot be jumping high without breathing. So I want respirar. you. No lo puedes hacer. Entonces tienes que respirar. I want you to breathe. Like shouting, like breathing, shouting. Yes, because I want aggressive players. And I want you to be fast, but you can't be fast like this. I don't know, I, I want to see it, your body language. Tu lenguaje okay. corporal tiene que ser. So fast, and I want to see a difference. Yes. See? Okay. La diferencia? We work with this first, like that. Then we throw a ball up, and they have to jump against resistance, and they have to be fast, fast, fast. And then I let away the resistance. And then I hope I have a transfer on the, on the court. Luego saco la, resist la resistencia y espero que lo hayan conseguido. Diferentes pasos. One of the things. Thank you. Then I use also a lot of this. You saw already for blocking, but you can also use it from spiking. Then I always put it like uh, the third white of the antenna. Okay. There I have my uh, elastic and they have to spike over it. Uso, uso algunos elementos, el elástico lo uso también para atacar, no solo lo pongo en el tercer, en la tercer ante, la, la parte de la varilla y tienen que atacar por encima. Because for me I need a timing, a fast approach speed. And then I need a timing that they can hit the ball deep. Entonces para mí es importante que tengan la aceleración, el timing y que le peguen a la pelota larga. Profunda. I will never be mad if you attack a ball here. Nunca me voy a enojar si vais a si atacan el balón ahí fuera, digamos. If you attack a ball here, si never ataca, mad. Si la atacas ahí, tampoco nunca me voy a enojar. So sometimes I make a second court, like from here, half, half. 50 centimeters away from sideline, backline, and I make a second court, and they have to spike between those two lines. Entonces pongo cosas para que tengan que atacar por entre esas dos líneas. Just to give you some ideas. Okay. Um, for me, I work always to the ideal timing moment. 
Can you repeat that? I will always do. I work always to the ideal timing moment, the most perfect timing moment. In every situation, I want the same. Ok, para, quiero una situación perfecta de timing. Para cada situación hay una situación perfecta de timing. So y siempre I estoy want, buscando eso. Y siempre estoy buscando esa situación perfecta de timing. I want when the ball in the hands of my setter, everybody is loaded. Ok, I will not ta uh, talk about the timing of the mill, it's perfect now, she's on her tips, it's good. I will not ta talk about my piper. She has a little, she's a little bit faster than my outside spikers, but I will talk about my two and my four. Entonces la situación perfecta para mí en este momento es cuando el balón está ahí como lo tiene la colocadora, todo el mundo está habilitado, todo el mundo está cargado de alguna manera para poder atacar. No voy a hablar de la central, para en este momento la central está bien, para lo que yo considero está en la punta de sus pies, vamos a hablar de cuatro y dos. Ok, we work a lot of that with video feedback. Trabajamos eso mucho con el feedback que nos da un vid el video. I don't know if you know Coach's Eye. No sé si conoces. An application you can download for free or like five euros, nothing. And Coach's Eye is an application that you can download for gratis. Okay. And uh, I use it for a lot of different techniques. La uso para muchas técnicas diferentes. Okay. I'm looking here. And then when you have an action, you you put it on video, and then you can slow down the motion. And when the balls in hand of setter, I stop the video, and then you can see if everybody's on time. And just to give you an ID, but you can do it also with just a camera, and afterwards um, you can look to it. But I like to do it on the court because then they can think about it, and then maybe they can um, use another. Action or use something else. Me gusta hacerlo porque puedo reducir la velocidad, lo pueden ver a cámara lenta, lo puedo frenar y pueden ver el momento exacto y preciso como lo están haciendo. También lo puedes hacer con una cámara eh, y volver a ver la acción todo el tiempo, pero me parece que la aplicación me da algo más. But I want to be very clear porque when the ball is out of the hands of the setter and they're just loading at that moment, you are too late. When the ball is out of the hands. Okay, cuando el balón sale de las manos de la colocadora. And then they are loading, they are too late. Esa ya va tarde, si no está lista para salir. Okay. In this situation, and I have it of a perfect situation, fast play, uh, they have to be loaded like this. En esta situación tienen que estar cargadas, habilitadas, de esta forma. And then I want to thank you about yesterday. Because I always make easy rules for my players, so everybody has the same information. For me, fast play plus situation, we call it plus, is a tempo set given by setter and libro. Ok, a mí me gusta crear reglas, reglas fáciles para mis jugadoras. Entonces, una es jugada rápida y... Tiempo, uh, time or distance? Fast play. Fast play, eh? So, antenna height. Okay. Antenna height, fast play Altura. from yesterday. Altura de la varilla, sí. So, when the ball is between 3 meters and 4 meters, and it's given, the set is given by Libro, setter, overhead set, okay. it's fast play. Ok, pelota colocada de, eh, por el Libro, por la colocadora, eh, hacia la varilla, es, la llama fast. Es altura de varilla, va esa pelota. And then, Entonces, all fall. my outside attackers, are loading on left, so I have to see this position. Entonces tengo que ver esa posición de mis atacantes laterales. Because then they can approach fast, they can jump high and they can hit the ball over the elastic. Entonces pueden eh, hacer la carrera rápida, ok, pueden saltar hacia arriba alto y pegar por encima de, del elástico o pegar alto, digamos. Then I have situations the back row. Y luego las otras situaciones en la parte de atrás del campo. 
minus situations for me, high play. Situaciones menos, digamos, si las sean positivas, estas son menos, ok, situaciones de pelota alta. And you know from yesterday when it's a high play, the most important thing for me was one meter inside, high ball, and it rolls off into the net. Y sabemos de, de, por lo que hicimos ayer, que a mí me gustan un metro fuera de la red, que caigan dentro, digamos, que ro como si tenían que rolar en la red. Eh, y eso lo vimos ayer. And that has to be clear for everybody. Eso tiene, es una regla que tiene que estar clara para todo el mundo. Ok. I make this like simple. Okay. But it are always difficult situations. Lo hago esto fácil, pero siempre hay situaciones más difíciles. Like I want to, like... Two weeks ago, we were on the World Championship qualification in uh, Poland, and we played against Bulgaria and Poland, Poland and Germany. Poland, Germany, we had the same rules, like okay, the setter, good setter, very good setter, Poland. If they, if she was here, she could give a fast set to two or four on one leg. She had speed. But the Bulgarian setter, when she had the same ball as the German and the Poland setter, she was not jumping, she was standing like this, and she gave a high set, so no speed anymore. Entonces, hace dos semanas estábamos jugando la clasificación al, al Mundial, ok, estaba la colocadora búlgara y la polaca. La, pola, la, búlga, la, no, la polaca lo hacía muy bien, jugaba pelotas rápidas desde ahí a dos pies, un pie con salto. La búlgara siempre enfrentaba pelota alta, siempre igual. Eh, no saltaba, entonces bueno, eso ya cambiaba todo el tiempo de, de la transición. And that's very important to know my players because against Poland and Germany, when the ball was in that position, I wanted fast play. So when the ball was in the hand of the setter, yeah, everybody's loading, and when the ball is going out of the hands, pff, approach. Entonces eso es muy importante para mis jugadoras que vean esa diferencia que había cuando la pelota está saliendo de las manos del jugador, ya tiene que estar totalmente cargadas. So it's the fast timing, but then. Huh? In the same situation, Bulgarian setter give a high set. It's another another situation for the attacker, for the outside attacker. We have to be aware of that. Then they have to load, and then they have to wait when the ball is at the highest point of his curve. Entonces. Para las búlgaras era una situación diferente, el atacante estaba lista, pero después de que la pelota salía tenía que esperar hasta que él llegaba a la curva, al punto alto, para después salir. And that you have to train very easily uh, with fundamental techniques like bump set, uh, overhead set, but you have to train the different situations like fast play, loading, Approach speed very fast when the ball's just out of the hands of the setter. High play, loading left, waiting when the ball's at the highest point of the curve, and then to accelerate to the ball. Entonces no solo tienes que trabajar los fundamentos, el toque de antebrazo, el toque de dedos, sino los diferentes tipos de, de balón, de pelota rápida, que es un tipo de ataque que tienes que salir cuando o estar cargado cuando la pelota está en las manos o saliendo de las manos del colocador, y luego la pelota alta, que es donde tienes que esperar luego de que la pelota sale del colocador. Because then I have a question for you. If you are not aware of that and you have always loading and you approach and you start your approach always at the same time what's going what's going to happen? Entonces tengo una pregunta para ustedes. Si estás siempre cargando y sales a la misma velocidad cuando el colocador va, va a colocar con la pelota, ¿qué es lo que pasa? Si siempre estás habilitado para atacar Ok, sale la pelota y tú siempre sales igual a la misma velocidad. ¿Qué es lo que va a pasar con el atacante? Sí, pero... He's gonna attack, he's not gonna attack. Well... Yeah, ok, pero... Bajar, 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 It's gonna be behind the ball. It's gonna be behind maybe, and it's gonna maybe. go out. 
Maybe, not necessarily, because the set is always coming perfect position. La pelota viene a situación perfecta. Siempre viene al mismo lugar, viene perfecta. Dijo, puede ser que le quede atrás. So I'm not talking about the set. Set is perfect. Even with fast play, high play, the ball is always coming in same position. So they will not be like that, but they will be going down while hitting. Van a estar cayendo cuando estén pegando. Van a estar cayendo. And they will never have control over the ball because when you are in a good position, good timing, good approach, huh, you are in, you have control over the ball because you can spike where you want. Entonces no van a tener control del ataque porque cuando tienes buena posición, buena carrera, buen timing, estás ahí, tú tienes control de dónde quieres poner la pelota. And when you are too early, you don't adapt to the high play, you give the same approach as a fast play. Huh? Then the ball will control you. Entonces cuando llegas antes y no esperas en la pelota alta, eh, no vas a tener control del, del balón. And you're gonna hit it. The ball will control you because the ball will decide what you will do. You la pelota va a decidir por ti. Va a decidir dónde va. No tip, shot. You don't, you don't have any overview anymore. No tienes esa perspectiva, no tienes todo tu repertorio, like your repertoire of attacks. And then it's like flip the coin when you make points. It's not a point of view, it's a mistake of the opponent. Y luego tienes que tirar la moneda para ver qué es lo que va a pasar. No es un punto tuyo, es un error del contrario. Okay. And then I have two things you have to be aware of that we work on a later stadium. First, I work on this. Two things. Esas son las dos cosas en las que trabajo primero y luego más tarde trabajo en esas otras dos cosas, la distancia del colocador y la posición del balón en relación a la red. Fast play, high play. And after that, I want them to look to the distance to the setter. Because if you have a closer distance to the setter, you have to be faster. Entonces, tienes que ver la distancia que tienes en relación al colocador. Si estás más cerca del colocador, tienes que ir más rápido. So you have to speed up. Tienes que acelerar. Okay, when distance is further away from your setter, then you have to wait a little bit in loading, and then you can move. Cuando el colocador está más lejos, tienes que cargar, habilitar, preparar, esperar un pelín y para luego ir. But what I don't want to see is that you're starting your approach at the same moment, but in long distance you're slowing down your speed. Entonces lo que no quiero ver es que estás empezando tu carrera de remate cuando el colocador está más lejos y vas más lento. It's no. ideal, ideal situation. Ideal. It almost never happens in a game, but we work for it. And then maybe we got some good actions um, during a game. Es una situación ideal, nunca ideal, super ideal, no sale en el partido. Algunas veces sale y trabajamos para eso. And then the last one is the position of the ball to the net, and that's what you meant. We we saw yesterday help set difficult. I want the help set or the setting always in a perfect place. But it's not realistic. Sometimes the ball comes outside the antenna, sometimes two meters inside, sometimes very tight to the net, sometimes very far from the net. Y luego trabajamos lo que tú mencionabas, la posición del balón en relación a la red, a veces se va muy afuera, muy adentro, muy cerca, muy lejos. So it's very difficult to train. So be patient. Ser pacientes, es muy difícil de And let them be aware of the situation. Déjenles ser conscientes de la situación. Because if they know that, knowing, that starts, that for me knowing is a start for once a day, they can execute it. Entonces para mí que sepan, ok, el saber, el que sean conscientes de eso, es el primer paso para que ejecuten correctamente. Ok, so, uh, we will try. Uh, I need 12 players, um, maybe not the same players as the training before, with Carlo, maybe other players that everybody's... En la posible otros jugadores que no hayan estado con Carlo. There. No, no sé. No. En la posible, 12 jugadores. Vale. Do you want me to move this?
Ya. Sí, sí, sí. Okay, good. Boys, I want somebody. Three meter. I want somebody here. And I want somebody the outside of the court. And you do the same at the other side of the court. And you do the same at this part. Okay. Like I said, fundamentals. Como dije, técnicas fundamentales. Very important. Team play. Playing volleyball is important, but you can't play if you don't have any control. Jugar al volei es muy importante, pero no puedes jugarlo si no tienes control. Okay, so every team has a ball. Very important, I will let you start. You play an overhead set to the person on the back row. So you're in the back row. Alguien que está atrás. You're in the back row. You're outside. Easy. Fácil. I think. I think. Yeah. You will play the ball to the person on the net. The person on the net is giving a set behind three meter. Pay attention, behind three meter. I don't want to work in three meter, so behind three meter. Que coloque ese zaguero. Okay, behind three meter. And you give an overhead set, deep, seven meters. So overhead set deep, okay. seven, seven meters. meters. Allá, siete metros. Up, pass, over. After your overhead set, you come setter. After your set, you go there. Okay. Seguir la pelota. Seguir la pelota. Y tú sigues la pelota, vas a donde está el de atrás. Normally, I never do this. Nunca, no, generalmente nunca hago esto. I never show, nunca muestro. Show this. No. I talk my exercise to my girls and I say, okay, start and they organize self. Nunca lo muestro, solo les digo, esta es la tarea que tenemos que hacer y luego ellas se organizan y lo hacen. Okay, go start. Hablen, ¿no? Okay, stop. Parar. When my girls start like this training, it's war. Cuando mis jugadoras entran así, empiezan así a entrenar. Then I will be malo. very, very mad. I want you to speak every time you touch a ball. Me enojo mucho si mis jugadoras empiezan así. Voy a hablar cuando no lo no, habléis. No, no, And I want you to set the ball like two meter. On two, two and a half, huh? and then you play the ball overhead set when your when the ball the three meter is between both legs. Pam. Okay, la pelota en dos metros y medio dentro de la zona de tres metros. Okay. Y que los pies, con los pies. Pies. Ah. Sí. La línea de tres tiene que estar en medio de los pies. Okay, go start. Okay, stop. Parar. So I want an easy situation here because I want to focus on the on the attack. So I don't want to focus me on the passing and I don't want to focus myself on the setter. So for me, that has to be good. It has to be perfect. Esto es una situación fácil. Lo voy a poner una situación fácil para focalizar en el ataque. Entonces esto tiene que ser perfecto. El pase y la colocación. After passing the ball. You make sure you're grounded, loaded in this position, not like that. So your back uh, leg is off the ground, like this. When the ball's in the hands of your setter. And they're still passing. Oh, yeah, it's passing, okay. but you have to be aware of it. Puede pasar, cargar, de la manera en que lo mostró ella, con el cuerpo hacia adelante, la pierna fuera del... 
When the ball is in the hands of the setter. Cuando la pelota está en las manos del colocador. This, then the ball is going away. out of it. Fast. I want to hear you. I want to see you. You want to spike hard and fast. Pase, carrera y luego toque de dedos. Igual, pero explosiva cuando la pelota está... Sí, pero explosiva. Ok, go. Cargar. Good, stop. You see what the problem is? ¿Ves el problema que hay? ¿Cuál es el problema? There's a lot of problems. Just focusing on the attack. Focus on the spiker, not on the rest. Spiker. What's the problem of spiker? ¿Cuál es el problema con el atacante? Hmm? They don't go fast enough. Don't go fast enough? But no, okay. no suficientemente rápido. Think about the presentation. En, en relación a los puntos que marcó en la presentación, en la diapositiva. To have a good approach speed, what do you need? Para tener un buen, eh, un, una buena velocidad en la carrera de remate, ¿qué necesitas? La técnica. Técnica, ok. Technique. I want them to make rules. Quiero que tengan reglas. Because they don't have any rules. Setter is giving high set, setter is giving fast play, high play, they don't have any rules. No tienen ninguna regla en cuanto a la pelota rápida y la pelota alta. So it's like flip the coin if you are going to attack well or not. Entonces es tirar una moneda si vais a atacar bien o mal. So I want them, the attacker, to communicate to the setter what type of set he expect. Entonces quiero que el atacante le comunique al colocador qué tipo de pelota le va a colocar. So you don't look the quality or the zone of the set yet. It's later. But you will decide high, high or fast, fast. So you, you say high, high, fast, fast. When your attacker asks a high ball, you give the ball like five, six meter high. Not against the ceiling, just high ball. Tenés que decidir si la pelota, ustedes lo tenés que decir, high, high, alta, alta, ok, o rápida, rápida. Y cuando es alta, 5 o 6 metros de altura. Darle. When you call for fast, fast, you give a set antenna height. Remember yesterday, antenna height. Cuando es rápida, altura de varilla. Ok, and then you think, loading is always the same. But then you have to adapt to what you see. You see a fast play, fast. Go, go fast. When you see a high play, you ask the high play, so you want a high ball or you want a high set, then you wait, 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 and you're just going to start your approach when the ball is on the highest point of his curve. Ok, Try. entonces, la, la carrera es la misma, ok? Si eh, pedís pelota rápido, entra rápido. Si pedís pelota alta, tenés que esperar hasta el punto máximo de la pelota. Ok, ok, start. Tac tac, ok, ok, ok. Tac tac, ok. Ok. Ok, good. Bien. Two things. Dos cosas. The set is here. La colocación que sea ahí. I will nothing say about back to the net. I don't like back to the net, but okay. No voy a decir nada. No me gusta de espaldas a la red, pero bueno. Setters jump, uh, jump. Uh, no salto, jump. But your set is always here. Fast play. Even high play is here, but it's just high. La colocación ahí. No importa si es rápida o si es eh, pelota alta. And then remember yesterday, we are a team. I'm part of the team. 
and everybody's part of the team. So you have to give feedback. If somebody's giving a set here, I don't want it twice. One time, okay, but the next time it's a perfect set. Because it's an easy situation, it's like giving a free ball. You cannot accept that the free ball is not perfect. Okay, entonces somos un equipo, todos nos tenemos que pasar información, nos tenemos que dar feedback. Eh, es una situación muy fácil esta, entonces una vez puede pasar que la pelota venga aquí, pero la otra tiene que ser perfecta. El free ball, el free ball tiene que ser perfecto. Ok, ahí, go, up, up, up. Ok. El feedback, el feedback. Dar feedback. Keep the set in the middle. Keep the set in the middle. If set in the middle. Set uh, the sets in the middle of your court. Ah, la colocación en el medio de vuestro campo. <coughs> en el medio, en el medio. Okay, good. Colocar en el medio, colocar en el medio de la pista, de vuestra pista. I just want to show you Huh? How difficult it is because it's an easy situation. Bump, pass. Fundamental. We learn it at six years old. Quiero mostrarles cuán difícil es, aunque es eh, fácil pasar entre brazos de dedos la, eh, y lo aprenden cuando son pequeñitos. Okay, el tiempo, el timing, you mean? It's difficult. It's difficult. And then you see the position of the ball to the net. Sometimes people give the set more tied to the net. Sometimes the ball is going out of three meter. Sometimes the ball is going more to the left. Sometimes the ball is going more to the right. Y luego está el tema de la posición de la pelota en relación a la red, que está más cerca, que está más lejos, a izquierda, a derecha. First step, adapt. First step. Primer paso de la carrera, que se, que se debe de adaptarse. So I'm loading, la pelota. and I see the ball is tight. Big step. I see the ball is more out. A small step. Entonces utilizo ese primer paso para adaptarme a la situación de la pelota en relación a la red. To the left, to the right, up, huh? or up, and then you have to combine. Sometimes you get a tight step, tight set, more to the right. So it's like big as possible. Entonces a veces tienes que combinar muy pegada y hacia la derecha, entonces te mueves de otra forma. But I try to hold the same approach speed. Pero siempre trato de mantener la misma velocidad en la carrera de remate. Okay, so read, react, communicate, communicate what you see. Entonces leer, reaccionar y comunicar lo que veis. Again, de nuevo. It takes a lot of time to fix this. A lot of time. Lleva mucho tiempo corregir esto. But they have to be aware of it. Pero deben ser conscientes de eso. Tac tac. Okay. Communicate. You want it faster. You want it faster, your ball. Hablar qué pelota queréis, la alta, la rápida. Comunicar. Communicate. Communicate. Hablar, hablar, hablar. Alta. Was the set? Was the quality of your set? Calidad en la colocación. Okay, stop. Okay, I just wanted to put the stress on, starting from the hip. Fast. Do not come straight with your upper body, and to have a very good horizontal speed. Okay, quiero que empiece desde la cadera para tener buena velocidad horizontal. Now I want to see the transfer to a vertical height. Y quiero que eso se, tra eh, se transfiera a velocidad vertical, a altura. Sí. Okay. So okay, up. Now it's behind three meter. Okay, so up, okay. jumping behind three meter, and you you try to give the set on two meter, two meter and a half. You jump and you. Give a jumping Perfect. overhead set over the Ahora con salto, no striking, setting, go. Salto y toque de dos. Okay, good. 
bien. Uh, sometimes you begin an exercise and then you see, is it going, is it not going? Huh? When you see, this is too difficult that after passing a ball to have a good approach speed, what can you do as a trainer? Can okay. you do as coach? Same yeah. exercise, same exercise, but what will you adapt? Entonces, cuando empezás un ejercicio y a veces ves que es muy difícil, tenés que adaptar. En este caso, la carrera de, de, de approach, you say. The approach, yes. Because you want to train the approach, you want to train the timing of the attacker. Queréis trabajar la carrera, el timing del atacante. Entonces, ¿qué modificarías dentro de este ejercicio? That's the most important thing of the, your, your training. And you see, it's too difficult in this exercise to execute and to put the focus on timing. What can you, as coach, in this exercise, modify? ¿Qué puedes modificar en este ejercicio Porque la carrera, para el timing de la carrera de remate? Very easy, you will say if I say it, ah, oh, yeah, of course. Si lo digo yo, va a ser muy fácil. Va a decir, por supuesto. Yeah, of course. No es la misma persona. Put your third person, person in the court, let them pass the ball, and then the other person just have to focus on timing and the approach and everything. So you can modify, okay? Modificas. Pones otra persona que solamente piense en eso. And so you have to build up the the, the, yeah, the difficulty according to your team. Okay, I want to look now. Uh, if you can now, you had you had to control as player. You had to control because you could decide high ball, fast ball. Tenías el control vosotros. Ustedes podían decidir pelota alta, pelota rápida. In game, it's not always possible. No es posible siempre en los partidos. So I want to give you a structure. Now for this exercise, easy. When the ball is given into three meter, so the passer gives the ball into three meter, it's always fast play. Entonces quiero darte una estructura. Cuando la pelota está dentro de tres metros, siempre es rápida, siempre. So what's your timing? ¿Cuál es tu va a ser tu timing? When the when the ball is on, on the hands on the setter. That I want to hear because to say, yeah, you have to come fast. Yes, I know you have to come fast. No, when the ball's in the hand of the setter, you're loading before, before you're in this position, before the ball's in the hand of setter. When the ball's in the hand of the setter, entonces, antes de que el balón llegue a las manos del colocador, estás cargado, estás en esa posición. Cuando el balón está en las manos del colocador, ahí arrancas. Then my passer, my receiver, gives the ball out of three meter. So, poof, high ball. Uh, and you can start here as setter. And you see the ball's here, fast play. When you see, okay, ball's here, it's high play. What's changing? Entonces, cuando el balón está en esta zona, va a ser pelota alta. ¿Y qué es lo que cambia? We, do, we start our approach when the ball is on the, on yeah, the, the highest curve. level. Yeah. Okay. One important thing, I want to have you to read the same thing because if you are setter, reading fast play, <coughs> but that person is reading high play, we have problem. Quiero que, que leamos todos lo mismo porque si uno lee pelota rápida, el otro lee pelota, que es pelota alta, no funciona. So, what is my solution? ¿Cuál es mi solución? Talk. Yes. So if he says fast, fast, at the same time my attacker is saying fast, fast, and then we can train. And then we can improve. And as, as a team, as a team. Entonces, si los dos decimos pelota rápida a la vez, podemos mejorar como equipo. Because you need each other. You need each other. Because the attacker is the last item in the chain of defense set attack. Entonces, no, eh, vosotros os necesitáis los unos a los otros porque el atacante es el último eslabón de ese triángulo eh, defensa, colocación, ataque. I want to see. Go. Organize. Organizarse. Los, los, los jump, jump, la... jump. We have to jump. <coughs> And speak with your setter. I want it faster. I want it more inside. 
hablar con vuestro colocador. La quiero rápida, la quiero al. Ajá. Ok, jump behind three meter, behind three meter. De, de tra, saltar detrás de la Ok, tras, stop. No. Where did you take? ¿Dónde defendiste? Where did you take your ball? Here. And I want you to spike behind three meter. What are you going to do? Quiero que at eh, ataques detrás de tres metros. ¿Qué vas a hacer? Atacar detrás de tres metros. Me voy a ir más para atrás. You didn't. No lo hiciste. Stay here, waiting for the set. No. Te quedaste ahí esperando. Time, you have to run. First training yesterday, defense, running. So you have to be fast, like your body weight in front, do not come straight, and you go. In volleyball, you cannot be slow. En volley no puede ser lento. You have to be fast, especially when you are less taller than your opponents. Especialmente cuando sos más bajo que tu rival. Then you have to beat them in control and in velocity. Entonces lo, les vas a ganar en el control de balón y en velocidad. Ok, go. Be aggressive. Power. Fast. Jump. Try to jump. Okay, spike. Spike. Atacar. Spike, jump and Atacar. spike. Go. Stop. Simple exercise. But now you see also the distance to the setter. Okay. My defense going outside. The distance of to my setter is going is come becoming bigger. Uh, distance to the setter is becoming closer. And then I have to adapt. How further you are from your setter? How long do you have to load before you start your approach? Entonces me tengo que adaptar a dónde está mi colocador, si está muy cerca o si está muy lejos. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que tenéis que hacer en función de la posición del colocador en relación a ustedes? Okay. And the other way around. Short distance, fast. Si está cerca, salgo antes. Si está más lejos, espero. We call it like tick tick. It's just a tick ball. Tick In tick. Belgium, we say tick tick. It's like you just tick the ball to your attacker. Okay, try. Eso no tiene no. Probarlo. Okay, good. Stop. Is it clear? Está claro. Theoretical. Teori uh, en forma de teoría. Está claro. Okay. En forma so, teórica. This is very analytical, very closed. ¿No? Está muy analítico, muy cerrado. And everybody's doing is giving set. Everybody's passing. Everybody's spiking. Every position. So it's like one of my active warming ups. I always start with ball. Okay. Todo el mundo hace todo y es uno de mis calentamientos activos. And then I will show you with the iPads. Uh, I will just tell you because we have no time, uh, no, mu no much time. So you put an iPad here in this corner and then you film your tackle on position four. You do it to the other side with your second iPad. And then you can make two groups and they are working like 15 minutes in the same organization. This group, I want a Libra on five and I want my setter on one. 
Entonces trabajas con dos iPads. I want to attack on four. Están haciendo este mismo trabajo. And I want an attack on two. Okay. You don't have to start in block. You go here because you just focus you focusing you on your attack. A empezar desde el, desde el ataque, así solo se focalizan en eso, desde la posición de ataque. So two, four. Uh, normally, it will be easy ball. What ball will be played in this organization? It will be an easy defense. So it's my setter and my libero. What do I? What will I have? Which situation I will have in this court? Entonces voy a tirar una pelota fácil donde van a colocar o mi colocador o mi libero. Entonces qué situación voy a tener en este campo? Fast play or high play? Rápida o alta? What do you think, as coach? ¿Qué, qué pensáis? Lo dijo ayer, aunque sea el libro que coloque de antebrazos dentro de la zona, es el mismo tiempo que el colocador. He will catch the ball as attacker. And you will lay down the ball on top of the court. You will, like it, the ball is coming, yeah? and you will spike, you will approach. You will catch the ball on your way up, and you will lay it down on top of the court. You catch it, catch it, and lay it down on top of the court. Okay, cogerla y pasarla por encima al otro lado del campo. Because I want you to spike the ball on your way up, not when you are coming down. Okay. Quiero, quiero que rebate cuando estás arriba, grande. Again, so attacker here, give me the ball. Okay, I will show you like two situations. First situation, libero is defense. Uh, fast set, fast play, and you have to be ready, loaded. When the ball is in the hand of the setter, yeah. Understand? Dos sí, okay. Ale, ale. Dos situaciones. Ataque fast, easy ball, and go up. Okay, good, 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 good. But now you were. Huh? I will give you one up, back. No, no. You're libero. You're libero. Jump, salta. Jump, fast play. Pelota rápida, pelota rápida, altura de varilla. Ready, tag. Okay, good. Okay. Now you're going to tip the ball in the center of the court, like a power Pera. tip. Power tip. With one hand, power tip over the net. Normally, I have my elastic. Power tip over the elastic. Here. Six meters. Finta, finta fuerte por encima de mi elástico. Cinco o seis metros. Okay. Go. No. Okay, good. You were going now. What did you see of the distance to the setter? ¿Qué viste de la distancia del colocador? ¿Dónde? ¿Qué viste de la distancia del colocador? ¿Qué viste? Que estaba. Uh, he was far. So what do you have to do? ¿Qué tienes que hacer? No, no, the setter is coming good. The set is coming good, but when you see your setter is in this oh, position right. to okay, give the set, right. what are you going to do? Que tiene que hacer? Wait, no. wait, and then approach. Okay, just to be aware of every situation. Okay, good. Okay, not a good defense. Yeah. Okay. Yes, okay, go up. Yes, okay, good. It looks good. Okay, so they are working like 20 minutes on it, but they have to give feedback all the time. They have to talk to each other. They have to be aware of distance to the setter, 
and they have to be aware of the position of the sets, more inside, more outside, more tight, more away from the net. Tiene que estar conscientes de la posición del colocador y de la posición de la pelota. Then here, uh, two people, no, one, pe one person on position four and one person on position one. Una cuatro, una en uno. One, uno. Okay, I will hit the ball against the ball. Le voy a pegar. Other people go. Okay. I will hit the ball against the ball. Yeah. I play the ball here in this area. High play, high play. So you're loading, you wait when the ball's on the highest moment, and then you spike. Just okay. le voy a pegar a la pared, va a venir a este lado, esperar hasta el punto más alto, y ahí entráis. Okay, so. And how do you want them to finish? No, no, just spike. Say it. You, you are going to give high set. Okay. We are ready? Okay. Ah, uh, okay, stop. Do you see? Yeah. No good set. La colocación no fue buena. Difficult to time. Es difícil el timing. The ball is controlling you. El balón te controla a ti. You cannot control the ball. So, try again. Perfect set. It's an easy situation. Not game. Just concentrate you on a high set. Perfect ball. One meter inside. To the net. Okay. Un metro adentro. Pelo. Okay, already better. Eh? Un poco and, mejor. Okay, and then I have my iPad, and everybody's coming. They are working, we are working, and after two attacks, they go looking. And they have give feedback to the setter, they have to work together. Okay, so first I learn it when I throw balls, you see, but then I go to the next step. And then at the end we have a team play. So I have six players, three in front, three back. The antenna can go away, okay? Voy por diferentes fases, three back, three front, back, three back, three front, back, three front. Antenna can go away, okay? Three front, three back, go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. And then I give like a game, huh? but just to make every situation clear. So I will spike. Ella va a pegarle. And somebody is giving the set. Y alguien coloca. So somebody is giving maybe help set if set is. Ah, el colocador de ayuda o el colocador mismo. And I let you play, and then we will analyze the first action. Y luego vamos a analizar la prim analizaríamos. Tú, we have the iPad and everything. La primera acción. Yes, we, you have to be aware of the first action. Tienes que ser consciente de la primera acción. Pelota Because alta, pelota rápida. Sometimes when I ask to my attacker. What was the quality of the first contact? A veces cuando le pregunto a mis jugadores cuál fue la calidad de esa primera pelota, from where the set is given, desde dónde te están colocando. They are looking like me or whatever you ask me. <laughs> me miran como qué me está preguntando. You have to know. Tenéis que you saber. You have to know because otherwise you can't time. Porque sin de otra forma si no no podés tener el timing. Okay, okay, we will, we will show. Go, ready? Primera pelota. Ser conscientes de la primera pelota. I will say nothing about your organization block defense. No voy a decir nada de vuestra organización en defensa. Read, react and play. For me it's important. Defense, set, attack. Okay, ready? Now you can, you can go outside, go outside, go outside. Yes, and counterattack. Go outside, can go outside. You stay here. Just outside hitters, because I just want their defense go away. Uh, because you have to concentrate you on spiking, so not on blocking. Spiking, it's too much. No pre-action, just focusing on spiking. Okay? Go. Okay, stop. Parar. Stop. 
We made rules. Hicimos reglas, tuvimos made rules. Establecimos reglas. We were given set here. Con la colocación desde ahí. You touch the block, middle blocker, never go to the middle block in this situation. That's also a rule. Huh? But you have to give. You can jump, but you don't give. The set was not higher than the antenna. He had to spike the ball from here. Okay, puede saltar todo, pero the set was too, too high, right? No, it was too, too low. low. Okay, era muy baja, más alta. So, when it's my rule, es mi regla. Okay. When the set's behind the red line, quality, precision, height. Okay, ready? So, we make it again. And you are ready, focus, loading. When the ball is on the highest point, you go. Okay, ready? Go. Tag, tag, up! Okay, good. Again. Okay, and then you can differentiate between positions. Maybe you want it faster, a little bit faster. Then you call for it, but it stays like precision and quality. They have to, to attack the ball in a straight position, not like that. Okay, ready, again. So okay. go outside, loading. Uh, here, loading, waiting, fast. Okay? Go. Espera. Okay, good. We saw a lot of things. The set was like on two meters. It was too much outside. Difficult. Okay, again. Situation. Okay, stop. Hey, defense, easy ball. I'm a woman. I right, go. Okay, stop. Your libro. Ball was here. For me, my rule. I ball. Here, my my setter and my libro. They may give. They may speed up the tempo of the set. Okay. okay last ball. So okay. again, we were here. You want like faster set, so you call for it. Loading and then go fast as possible. Okay, very rápido. Rápido. Go. Okay, good. Okay, good. We will stop here. Thank you guys for Gracias. everything. Thank you guys. Thank you. Okay, thank you everybody. Uh, it was an honor to be here and I want to thank you Cristobal to text me, to give me the chance to tell me my IDs and I want to to say it on my IDs. The, the, it's nothing that say, that's, that's the way it has to be. Uh, I hope we gave you some information to think about and maybe you can put some interesting stuff into your own coaching philosophy. Do not copy a coaching philosophy of somebody else. Try to think about your own team. What do I want? Maybe you want a fast play until five meter. Huh? Maybe you want a high play, play when the ball is already on three meter. You have to see what you have. But make your own rules Make your own philosophy and stick to it. Always, always stick to your structure, to your ideas. Okay, and try to think about volleyball all the time. So Primero, thank you very much. Primero que nada quiero...